it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy Guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day because we are kicking off my first Christmas video of the season. I'm so excited to head on over to Hobby Lobby and shop their Christmas decor with you guys today. I'm gonna take you guys through the aisles, show you what they have, show you my top picks, and then stay tuned for the end because we're gonna head right back here and I'm going to show you a huge haul of everything that I picked up to decorate with this holiday season. If you guys are excited for Christmas shop with me videos, make sure to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because I have tons of more Christmas shop with me videos I plan on going to Home Goods, Kirkland's, Target, and possibly Walmart. Let me know if you guys want to see those. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get to shopping at Hobby Lobby. Heading into the store, they had this beautiful setup as soon as you walked in with lots of white and bright Christmas decor, and it got me so inspired before we even walked through the doors. If you're looking for a record player, they have these Crosley ones that are a your pick price, and they are $60. We started out in the Christmas tree aisles and oh my goodness, they were so beautiful. They had lots of different choices. They had seven and a half foot ones. They also had nine foot trees. And my favorite was the Berkshire trees. They kind of looked like snow was heavy on them. And I loved this tall one. I thought it was so beautiful. They also had a big selection of smaller trees that you could use around your house. And I also loved all of their tree skirts. Every year I let Brooks pick out an ornament for his Christmas tree in his room so he was up for the job looking through all the fun little characters for the perfect ornament. They have lots of different kinds of ornaments, but I tend to go for more of the neutral ones that are a little bit woodsy. So this section here was my favorite. I loved all of the snowflakes, all of the muted Christmas trees, and lots of cozy textures. Now we're heading into the serveware and kitchen aisles and I loved these bowls and plates and platters. They even had a crock where you could set a tablet on for baking and you can look up your recipes, which I thought was super handy. They also had lots of napkin rings and all kinds of different styles of tableware and kitchen towels. They were all so beautiful. I 
thought these little scrapers were so cute if you are doing a holiday baking. They just make it really handy to get everything off the side of the bowls. They also had these picks that would be perfect for hosting. They have little Christmas trees on top and I loved these car coasters. I think those are so festive to decorate your car with for the holidays. These cup cozies came in a set of four in white and black buffalo check and red and black and I thought they were so unique. Those would be great little stocking stuffers. If you like to bake and host for the holidays, they had tons of aprons. I thought this snowman one was cute as well as this gingerbread one and it had a towel that Velcroed onto it. So that would be really handy in the kitchen. And then they also had these drink dispensers that would be so fun and festive for a holiday party. And I couldn't pass up these little wooden spoons. They just reminded me of a hot cocoa bar and I thought they were so precious. If you're doing a lot of shipping this holiday season, they had tons of festive packaging, tape, cards, little mini packages, all sorts of stuff to make your shipping supplies really cute and festive. When I was growing up, my mom always decorated our kitchen with tons of gingerbread men. So this little section totally takes me back to my childhood. Let me know down below, are there any specific decorations that just take you back and give you all of those nostalgic feels?
cozy knits just scream Christmas to me and this stocking was such a good deal. They also have it in a tree skirt which I got last year from Hobby Lobby and I can't wait to pull out again this year. Also thought these pinstripe stockings were very timeless and they had tons of stocking holders probably three or four different designs if you're looking for some They had tons of festive socks, but I couldn't pass up these Mickey ones. And then Brooks loves to do puzzles, so I picked up this Rudolph one, as well as this fun card game. All of these were included in the 50% off as well, so they were really fun activities for kids to do. Now we're getting to all of the signs and tabletop decor. These are some of my favorite aisles to go down because they really separate everything by style. So the first one is red and white and lots of Santas and elves, like your typical Christmas things. And I thought the Santa at work sign was really cute. They also come out with a Grinch section every year that is so fun. Last year, if you missed it, I decorated Brooks's tree in his room in a Grinch theme and it was so fun. So we'll probably do that again this year, but if you're having a Christmas party, they had Grinch photo props and all kinds of fun stuff. next section was more muted and woodsy and it was my favorite by far. This is always the section that I gravitate towards. They have lots of fun trees. They had this really unique advent calendar that I loved. I just loved all of the muted greens and blacks and wood tones of this section. And they also had some really cute concrete houses and little white houses that had glitter on top that kind of look like snow and they had lots of trucks and little trees, reindeer, and even a couple polar bears.
want to be extra festive, they have crock pots that are Christmas inspired and they're so cute. Here is their nativity scene aisle. They had tons to choose from, snow globes, displays, and whenever I was in the checkout, I seen some larger ones up there as well. So be sure to check out the front if you're looking for some. But they also had lots of signs as well, which I appreciate and I thought they were so sweet. A few days later, I went to another Hobby Lobby and checked out all of their Christmas decor to see if I could find any different items. And it's kind of fun going to different ones because they all set up differently. So if you are looking for something and they don't have it, maybe just go check out another Hobby Lobby if you have a couple that are close. But this one had tons of wreaths and garland and tons of greenery and floral picks where I didn't see as many at the last one. So just keep an eye out if you are looking for something specific. Dolly Parton came out with her own line for fall and she came out with another one for Christmas. These are really pretty pieces and very unique, so be sure to check those out as well. This little mini riser is so cute. It'd be perfect for a little candle. And then how sweet is this tiny tear tray? Oh my goodness. I'm not even sure what you would put on there. Thank you. 
Okay, that was so much fun. Oh my goodness. Brooks and I had such a fun time shopping and looking at all of the ornaments and trees and Christmas decor. They had some really pretty things out this year. Let's go ahead and dive into the haul. I heard a reel on Instagram showing my top favorite things from Hobby Lobby this year. So if you want to pop on over there and check that out after you watch this video, you can go see it. But one of those items was this cute little cottage house and it does light up. This one is a little house. It has a wreath on the front of it and it kind of has a sparkly top. I thought this was so precious. All of Hobby Lobby's Christmas decor is 50% off. So I'll tell you the original price of everything and you can do the math that way. I don't have to, but this was $14.99 originally. They also had this little house and it's just a smaller version. This one was $12.99. And I just realized that this one is missing the little LED candle on the bottom. So I'm gonna have to take this one back and exchange it for one that does work because these will be so handy to just turn the little switch on. So I'm gonna put the paper back on this one, put it back in the bag, that way I remember to take it back. I actually bought two of those and this one does have the bottom on it. And they also had a little church with a steeple on there. So I thought that was really cute as well. So I'm gonna have a little village of the white houses and this one was $12.99. I also picked up some of this garland. I thought it was so pretty. It's got wooden beads and these really pretty wool balls on there as well. I think this is gonna be so pretty on a flock tree. Give it some warmth with the cream and wood tones. The garland ended up being $5 after the discount. So I got three of them for $15. I also love these sweet little plush ornaments. They're almost like little mini pillows, but I love this off-white taupe colored. They're real soft and they have a couple beads at the top. I just thought these were so cute and simple. $2.99 originally. You can see the little wood beads and the little plush material. This one is a Christmas tree. And then I also got it in a star version as well. And I grabbed three of each style. That way I could kind of place them around the tree and it's very cozy cohesive. Here's the little star. I think it's just so sweet. I also grabbed a couple of these cone trees. These I thought were so cute. I loved the pattern on them. I figured I could mix these in with some other Christmas trees. These were $7.99 for the bigger one and $5.99 for one that's just a little bit shorter. Really, there's not much of a difference at all. So I thought I got the same size, but I clearly didn't. I also picked up one of these green trees. This one was $12.99, and I think it just had a lot of texture with it. There's a little bit of silver and black on it, and I just love the muted green color. So I'm excited to decorate with this one as well. You guys know my love for old signs. I had one in my entryway for fall, and I wanted to find a different one for Christmas to switch out up there and Hobby Lobby delivered. When I seen this cute little barn snowy landscape, I was like, that is it. I thought this was so cozy and it was normally $29.99, so half off, it was only $15. I thought that was a really good price. And it doesn't have glass in front of it, which I really like as well. So I think this will really set the mood for our Christmas decor this year. I wanted to get a fun advent calendar for Brooks, maybe put a Hershey kiss in it each day. And then in the mornings he could go grab it. Something fun to look forward to. And I don't have anything like that. So when I seen this one here, I thought that would be so perfect. It's just this wood color and then the little drawers are black and they have gold details on them, kind of more of a brass colored details. But I thought it was very simple, minimal, and would look really cute either in the office or maybe on one of my shelves behind me in the living room. But I loved all of the gold on there with the black. I think that will be really pretty for Christmas. I also picked up some cute little wooden spoons that will go in my hot cocoa bar. These just have little peppermints on on top and the little wooden spoons on the bottom. And these were $9.99 originally. I love getting different buckets to put Christmas trees in. That's a really good way to kind of change up your style while still using the Christmas decor that you have. So when I seen these pretty little champagne kind of brass buckets, 
I thought they would be perfect. These were $12.99 originally, and they have little Christmas trees on the bottom and little wooden handles. I just thought they were so precious. I picked up this gingerbread nativity scene for Brooks to do. This one actually wasn't on sale. This is a year price item, so they aren't 50% off, even though the Christmas is. So this one was the original $10, but I thought this would be really fun to do with Brooks. He was so excited whenever he seen it. Maybe we'll make this a new little Christmas tradition in our home. I also got Brooks some cute little Mickey Mouse Santa hat socks. He's seen these and really liked them. They were $4.99 originally. And how could you say no to those? I also picked him up this card game. It's a little two pack. It's Rudolph. There's Go Fish and a matching game in here. These were $6.99 and these were all included in the 50% off. So he was very excited. This will be a good activity that we could do as a family in the evenings. And every year I let Brooks pick out an ornament and this year he chose a little red dinosaur. So this will go on his little tree in his bedroom. The last thing that I picked up is a rotating metal tree stand, but I thought it'd be really fun to have a rotating tree in our living room. That way you could see all sides of the tree whenever it's lit up at night. This one was $59.99 and it has a little plug-in for your lights. That way it won't get like spun around whenever it spins. And that is everything that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I'm really excited to get all of my Christmas totes out, go through them and see where I'm gonna put everything this year if I'm gonna change anything up. Like I said, I've got my Christmas decor plan with me video coming really soon. So stay on the lookout for that video as well as a ton more Christmas shop with me videos. I may not have hauls at the end of all of them, but I do wanna go to the stores that you guys wanna see. That way you can get inspired for Christmas decorating as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.